Hi Taurus, please note that energy moves and flows and uh, this may have happened before the month of July is happening or will happen. Uh, time is fluid guys, so feel free to switch the energies. We're going to do um, a 9 card spread. It's going to be your past energy, their past energy, your current energy, their current energies, the blockages, the hopes and the fears. In your past energy, Taurus, there was something that you had to force to move forward. There was a relationship that you had to force to move forward or there was a relationship that lacked direction. All right, You felt powerless. You felt like this relationship is not in your control. Probably the relationship was just going forward but you didn't have the steering in your hand. Or something did not move forward at all. You could be dealing with the cancer. You have the Empress. You probably then gave birth to a new relationship. There was a new relationship that started or you were in your power. You were completely independent. You nurtured yourself. You loved yourself. You were on your feminine side. You uh, you, want, you, you were uh, into nature. You, there was a harmony. Uh, there are indications that you're or probably a, a relationship that was not moving forward became even more committed and it, and you became, it became even more deeper and there was more love and affection in, in that relationship. You could be dealing with the Taurus just like yourself. Taurus, you have the strength card. You could be dealing with the Leo. You have shown a lot of strength in the past. Okay, This is a lot of strength. A lot of courage a lot of confidence in holding on to the relationship and making it very very strong in their past energy Taurus you could be dealing with a water sign a Pisces Cancer or Scorpio this is someone who's very mature someone very compassionate this is a, a person who's very friendly this is someone who has mastered the art of keeping their emotions to themselves okay this person has their head and heart in place this person is 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 um, in love with you but they will not show you your emotion show you their emotions all right they will try and show you how practical they are but within they are very much in love they're loyal faithful and this can be someone's very easy going this could also be a married man In the past, they must have let go of, of, of something that was burdening them. This is something like a responsibility that they thought it was too much for them to handle. There was This was someone who probably thought that they were just working hard, but they weren't getting nowhere. You could be dealing with a fire sign, an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. This is someone who just breaks down, all right? This is someone who has no stamina and they said, I cannot do this anymore. However, I see in their past they have a new beginning in love. This could be uh, this could be reigniting an old love, or this could be the beginning of a brand new love. This is new beginnings. This is a new relationship, new romance, love, happiness. This could also indicate uh, pregnancy if the if you're a male Taurus and you're dealing with a female. female. This indicates happiness. Okay, this is positivity. They probably had hope in this relationship and they have ignited the love in them again. In your current energy, Taurus, you are the Eight of Swords in reverse, all right? You may have been feeling, you could be dealing with an air sign and Aquarius Libra Gemini. You may have been feeling trapped in your head. You may have felt restricted. You may have felt helpless, hopeless, okay? You may be in a mind prison, all right? You may have feel like you just want to be like quiet and not talk to anyone. You may feel that there is no solution to this or you may just feel like... Um, there is no way out all right you were wanting to escape and finally you did okay this is escape this is freedom this is release of any negative pattern of thinking uh, this is the end of something that you felt was like a punishment all right this is being hopeful this is releasing anxiety all right you have survived
However, in the past, you're dealing with three of wands in reverse. This is again fire, energy, Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. There was something that you had put on your work into, something that you wanted to move forward. There was something that, there was a choice that you made. You executed the plan and you were waiting to get your ships to come in. All right. You were wanting to expand. This could be traveling abroad, but I see that you are giving up. You're probably returning back from a travel plan. There has been a cancellation. There has been delays. This could be a long distance relationship, but you feel disappointed. All right. You can feel disappointed with the choices that you came or with the outcome. This is a sign of someone who's just giving up and not ready to wait anymore. They can probably even see their ships coming in, but they're just like, you know what? I can see it right there, but I don't think it's coming in. I don't think this is working out. Also in your current energies, you have the Six of Cups. You could be dealing with a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is a soulmate connection, whoever you're dealing with. Someone from your past is coming back or has come back, all right? This is someone who you can have a significant difference. This could be a significant age difference or probably you guys live at a distance or you guys have a religion difference, caste, anything like that. But it's a very significant difference, all right? This is a soulmate card. This is nostalgia, all right? You you want someone from your past to come back or you're focusing on the past and the good memories that you had with this person. You're reminiscing about the past. You're thinking about someone from your past. This could be your ex coming back if you want them to come back. Maybe that's who you were done waiting for. You thought they'd come back, but you were waiting for them and they didn't, but they're coming back. In your person's current energy, they have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. This is Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person may have been independent, successful, financially stable, wealthy. Uh, they have everything in abundance. They have freedom. They have everything that they have. But this person does not want to be single anymore. They feel a lack of independence, a lack of stability and security without you. They don't want to be single anymore if that's what they were earlier. This is someone who wants to be with you. They want to be in a couple with you. This could be someone who has... Um, who. Uh, this could be someone who is in a relationship for the wrong reasons too. May, it could be someone who is very, very materialistic. Or very superficial in their current energy also they are the knight of pentacles but this is in reverse they could be deal you could again be dealing with an earth sign a taurus virgo or a capricorn this is someone who's very, very impatient, all right? If not impatient, they're just being lazy, all right? They're unstable. Um, they could be someone who's very disloyal too, or they're just being very irresponsible. This is someone who is not finishing what they have started. This is someone who's not putting in equal effort in the relationship. They're lacking commitment or effort. They're just being dull and boring right now. They probably still want to play the field before they commit to you. However, you have the four of wands. This is twin flame, 11, 11. This is the twin flame energy. So I feel that in the current energy, if you still haven't had, then you will be in union with this twin flame of yours. All right. This is happy family. This is reunion. This is someone coming back home. This is someone who wants to have success, stability, security in a relationship, all right? This is someone who wants to celebrate. This is someone who probably wants to introduce you to your to their families. They want to probably even tie the knot. They realize that you are the one and they don't want to do what they've always been doing. This could be a real reunion with someone coming back from the past. In your blockages, Taurus, you have the King of Wands in reverse. This is a fire sign, a tour, um, an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. This is someone who is not 
taking the initiative this is what's blocking you either you are not taking the initiative you're not taking action towards this person or this person is not taking action towards you this is someone who is acting very unreliable this could be someone who's taking a back seat this is someone who's afraid to be different they're not being proactive right now all right they feel powerless probably they're, they 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 feel very unreliable all right this is someone who's lacking the energy or the enthusiasm to accomplish what they need in a relationship to move ahead okay this is someone who worries about the other people's opinion all right about the relationship this is someone who can be very very afraid to step out of their comfort zone but this is in your blockage in your hope stories you have the five of swords in reverse you're hoping that you can communicate with this person if you haven't been in communication with this person this is an air sign and aquarius libra gemini you're hoping for a peaceful resolution you want to move on you want compromise you want communication you want to end any kind of conflict you want to release the stress that has been holding you okay you're hoping that you will get to a solution both of you all together at a compromise okay you want a win win situation you want the any kind of uh, revenge if any kind of vengeful behavior or any kind of relent relentless behavior okay you want it to end you want the regret remorse everything to end you just want peace and harmony in your fear you have the star card you could be dealing with an aquarius in your fear you have that probably there is no hope for this situation you don't feel inspired you don't you you feel there is going to be no healing you feel there is no faith from the universe you you're not trusting the universe you're giving up you're not believing in this relationship enough for it to work out that's your fear you feel there's going to be no reconciliation you feel you're not going to be in, in union with the person you are wanting to in their blockage they have the three of swords they are holding on to some kind of heartbreak some betrayal there is some kind of grief sorrow or some kind of um serious trauma that they are holding on to this could also be them holding on to a, a breakup that you guys had or some kind of separation or even if a divorce they're holding on to that that's what blocking them from going forward with you this is a very very uh, painful heartache this could be a loss about something all right this could also be a, uh, this could also be uh, a conflict or a very serious misunderstanding that they're holding on to probably there is no clarity because there is lack of communication maybe in their hopes they have the page of cups they're hoping for some good news they're hoping for some you could be dealing with a water sign pisces cancer scorpio they're hoping for some happy news all right they're hoping for loyalty they're hoping for being kind they're hoping for you to be be compassionate to them all right they're hoping for someone to become emotionally mature they're hoping for someone to um they're hoping for you to give them the love that they have given you if there was no equal give and take in this love all right they're hoping that you will be with them in this relationship right by them like right by them but overall they're hoping for some positive um action or positive love gesture that you will do towards them in their fears they have the two of cups in reverse this is um this is pisces cancer scorpio so what they fear is they fear a breakup they fear some kind of separation they feel that after so much probably they will still not get what they have hoped for they are fearing the the unity they're fearing the partnership they probably fear that 
there's going to be disharmony again. They fear that there's going to be an imbalance. They fear an ending of this relationship. That's what their fear is. All right, Taurus, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please put in your comments down below and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.